Kilauea ends after 10 hours of 1,000-foot-high fountains. Kilauea's latest, episode 22 feet, ended abruptly at 3.29 p.m. today, according to the USGS. The north vent stopped erupting this afternoon after 10 hours and 16 minutes of continuous lava flows that reached heights of 1,000 feet. Lava flows covered about 40% of the floor of the Halamau Mau crater, with an estimated volume of 3.8 million cubic meters, or 5 million cubic yards, of lava erupted, according to HVO. A 1,000-foot-high fountain of lava erupted from Kilauea's summit early this morning, marking the start of another episode in the volcano's ongoing eruptive cycle. The U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said the high-water ejection began at 5.13 a.m. after a series of small gas piston events that began just before 11 p.m. Thursday. The activity was confined to the Halamamal Crater within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. At 6 a.m., lava flow from the north vent peaked at 800 to 1,000 feet, before eventually stopping and oscillating at about 328 to 492 feet. Several lava flows were active at 6.10 a.m., covering about 30 to 40 percent of the crater floor. The eruption is still in the closed park area. The current volcano alert level is alert, and the aviation color code is orange, indicating an eruption is ongoing but poses a limited hazard. This latest activity, classified as Episode 22, follows a pattern of short-lived fountaining events that began in December. Most episodes last a day or less, with breaks between eruptions lasting several days. The primary concern remains the high levels of volcanic gases, particularly sulfur dioxide, which react in the atmosphere to form vogue, volcanic smog. Depending on wind direction, vogue can affect air quality several miles below the eruption site and cause respiratory irritation. <laughs> 